Hi everyone. I've been feeling a marking skill is essential to have a clean fabrication, but I don't even have a marking knife. So, yeah, I made two knives. It's supposed to be a quick small project, but I kind of messed up as usual. Let's see how I made them. As you guys noticed, I used an Arex marking knife blade and I'm trying to find if this leftover piece has enough width. Then, I cut the piece to the length and adjust the width. The blade was about 17-30 seconds of an inch wide, so I'm targeting 19-30 seconds of an inch here. You can go wider and sand it down later, but I'm not good at sanding so I'm trying to minimize the sanding work. Then, I need to split this piece. I wasn't sure how thick I should make it, so for convenience, I'll cut two of 5 sixteenths of an inch thickness. This thickness jig is so convenient for a small project like this. It's the thickness of the handle, so it doesn't have to be that accurate, but using a paper is good for making a micro adjustment. And yeah, I did the same process for Sapeli. I thought this was African mahogany, but it's much harder and I was told it's Sapeli. Now, I got to make these pieces ready for the handles. Well, there are not much things to do, but I just trim the lengths. As long as the pair have kind of the same lengths, it's okay, but Every process is a learning opportunity, so I try to go as accurate as possible. Next is pre-chamfering. It's too tiny to do hand planing, so I just carefully run the balls on the flipped hand plane. Since I'm not used to doing this, I often check the angle, but I didn't like it, so I ended up chamfering them with a chisel. This is the last process before the glue up. I see people glue one piece to the blade first and then drill all the holes and it seems like that is an easier way to align the holes but I mark the hole positions on every piece first and drill them before the glue up. Again, it's about the practice of the accuracy. Moving on to the assembling. Here, I messed up a lot. I'm hitting the pin from the backside to the front, so there was a high risk of causing blowout of the holes in the front of the knife. It's always good to do it from the front to back. Then, I realized I forgot to put epoxy on the pins. As I put more than enough epoxy, the one side can be okay like the picture, but the other side. As a solution, later, I let the CA glue seep into the other side. This is a few hours later and the epoxy isn't fully cured. At this time, I cleaned up the excess epoxy with my beta chisel. The next day, the epoxy was fully cured, so I trimmed the pins and did pinning. I didn't know how much I should smack the pins, so I did it only a little bit, and then filed off the excess part of the pins. This process isn't difficult at all, but I'm always scared to work with metal. Now, this is my least favorite part. I hate sanding, but I can't help it. Luckily, as I pre-shaped the handles, they didn't take much time but still, I don't like the sanding dust. Oh, and for this maple one, I felt the handle was too thick, so I ended up rounding off the grip part. Anyways, after this process, I did oil sanding. Again, it's sanding but it doesn't produce dust and I can see the handle start to shine so 
It's an enjoyable process to me. And here's the final product. Though there were some mistakes, I liked them. For the maple one, to avoid it from rolling off from the table, the end of the knife is square. And then this sapeli one, it was a good thickness to begin with. So I kept it as a squareish shape. Oh, I protected the blade with blue tape during the fabrication process, but somehow this one has minor scratches. Anyways, both blades are 8.03 inch thick, and there are actually two reasons I chose this blade. First, I've been using an X-Acto knife for my past projects and I like the thin blade and here is the second reason. I think most people prefer a thicker blade, and they already have one. If you are a beginner, you should do it by yourself with your favorite thickness, which I guess is probably thicker. What I want to say is, you watched my video this far, so this Sapeli one is a gift for one of you. Please just check out the description for how to enter this giveaway. You don't have to subscribe to my channel, but I'm sorry, this is a super small channel with a tight budget, so I can only ship it to US domestic people. And I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I would be happy if you liked the video and happier if you subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestion to my video, it's also welcome. See you!